Hi, my name is Elizabeth Sinclair and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you this card. I get this idea looking through Pinterest on a website that said Stamp Before Anything Else. It's a mother and daughter team and they did one with the windmills and I like to do, the, this is my version of it, but with the flowers. Okay, it's a fun hold. You open like that, and that's where your message can go. And we're going to put this together and sh show you how. Now, first thing you need is a pair of a piece of cardstock. This is papaya, um, and it is seven and a quarter long, and it's five and a half up and down, and then I scored it. Okay, the scoring, what I did was at five and seven eighths, at four and three quarters, at two and a half, one and three eighths. Now, all this is going to be written down for you, but that's what I did. And when you score it, and use your bone folder, and you want to make sure those scores are nice and tight. This is how you want to end up like this. I think of it as like a pair of doors, but this is the fold that you go for, okay? And that's part one to the card. I'm gonna put this one aside. Next, you need another piece of um, papaya, pale papaya, four and a half by five and a half. This is going to be the base. I cut two pieces of designer paper with the little um, tulips on there that match everything. This is one inch wide by five and a quarter long. And this is from the Tulip Fields designer paper. Then I've got clouds. I've got a sentiment and I've got flower making things. So we're going to go through all this and put it together in a little while, right? First thing I want to do is get this one started. All right, make sure your flowers are both going the same direction. You're going to glue them so that they are on the outside edges, okay? Nice and even. All right, so this is the base. Now this one I'm going to put aside as well. Now we also have two pieces of white paper and as I see I didn't cut them again. Okay, I'm going to cut two pieces of basic white cardstock. We need them also for this card. Okay, you need a decent sized piece, five and a quarter long. Okay. Then one of them will be two inches and one of them will be two and a half. Okay, that's two inches. And when you think I wouldn't have two and a half left? There's my two inches. This one, mm-hmm, no. and a quarter. And then we need two and a half. Right there. OK, 
Okay. There's the forgotten pieces. <laughs> two inches and two and a half inches. We're going to start with the two inch piece first. And we're going to just work on that. So this is the one that I stamped on that goes in the middle of the card. So I've got for the stem, we're going to be using pear pizzazz. For the flower, pale papaya. This is my stem. Okay. Next to the stem, I have a little bit of grass. I'm also going to use pale papaya on that. Then we've got the flower. There are two parts to this particular tulip. They correspond to each other. One of them's the inside color, one's the outside color. The inside color on this one, I'm gonna make lighter. So we're gonna use the pale papaya. we're going to stamp on the corner here. Then I'm going to put this right on the paper. On the stem, you can say. Like that. Or hmm, that isn't very dark, is it? Okay. So we try again. That's the nice thing about these stamps because they're see-through. And you can sometimes fix little mistakes with that. There. Got one. And then here's the other one. Actually, you know, for the other one, I'm gonna use Mango Melody because it's a little bit darker. And you just want to match it up the best you can. Push down. And there you go. And you notice this little spot in the middle? Well, that's the middle of the flower. And I didn't even get that out. It gives it character. <laughs> it's this itty bitty little piece right here. And for that, I like to use brown. So I'm gonna go with soft suede. Yep. And there you go. There's our little flower. Now this piece is gonna go inside this one. This piece is going to be attached to this one. So you put glue just on this top piece here. And you line it up right in the middle of this one so that you see equal amount of flowers on both sides. And there you have it. Now we're going to put that aside and we're going to work on the focal part, focal point. That's this one. Now I wanted a muted color here. So what I did was I used my blending brushes and some ink. Two and three. These three. And I'm 
some scrap paper. All right, I'm going to start with a pair of pizzazz. That's going to be on the bottom. Now, whenever, if you've never used these before, then it's important to start the color on something you don't care about and then use it on the paper. Because if you don't, you get this big um, dark spot. Then you can't do anything with it because it will not dissipate. There. Yeah. Okay pair there. Next I'm going to use yellow. Uh, Daffodil Delight, which I think is my favorite yellow in this whole group of yellows. Okay, And we go in the middle. There. Last but not least, we've got the sky which is balmy blue. It's my favorite blue for the sky. I like going in little circles when I do this. It seems to have, you know, gives you good coverage. There. Okay, I like that. So there it is. Now on the bottom, what I did was I used this little grass piece and I went to the pear pizzazz and I put grass on the bottom of this. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Find it. this again. I like to go right off the paper with it. We've got sky, we've got grass. Now we need a couple more little things. The next little piece I'm gonna put together is the flower. Okay, we've got the stem and we've got some leaves. Now these leaves, what I did is I used um, pear ink and I stamped the leaf on pear pizzazz paper. And this is our flower. I've got three different colors here. And that's part of, I'm using this as part of the flower too. Okay, I've got pumpkin pie in the middle, then I've got mango melody, then I've got pear pizzazz. This one goes in first. This one goes on top of it. And then you fold. You know what? that again. Kind of hard to do it backwards because then it doesn't fold right.
then this piece. Well, when I stamp it looks like grass. When I cut it out, it looks more like the bottom of a flower. And that's what I use it as. Okay. Now, this I'm going to put some dimensionals on. Which I'm forgetting to do under camera. And we put the flower down right there. And then get a little glue on the stem. And a little bit on the leaves. Since the flower is the focal point, I kind of leave that with the um, dimensionals and then I just kind of glue everything else down. This I snip off. All we need left are clouds. So these clouds are different. These I actually got from a different stamp set called Waves of Inspiration. Just because the clouds are different. I really like the way they have detail to them. See the little pieces here? This can you see it? Hold on. Yeah, it goes in the, the bottom edge of the cloud to give it this realistic sort of three-dimensional look. To do that, a little glue on it, and then you just match up the bottom curve to it, and it fits perfectly. And if you look in the light, it's kind of... Um, what do you call it? It's got the edgings on there. All right. And this one, we'll just put a couple dimensionals on it. And I'm going to put it up here. And then we'll make And then here's a little one. I think these are so cool. <laughs> right there. Yeah, they stick better without the little backs on them. So here we go. This is our masterpiece here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is you only glue it on half of it. That way it allows it to open. So we're going to put this Half of it. Helps to keep it closed so you can make it even so you see just as much of that pale papaya on each side. Gives it more of a uniform look. that. 
And now the only other thing I have left is my greeting. This happy birthday and this little, I wanted something skinny and small that wouldn't take away from too much of the flower, but that's what this, I got this one from the Waves of Inspiration Dies. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the side so we can avoid that stem. And there we go. There's our flower. And our card. If you'd like to get any of the products that I've used today in my video, this is my website. And thank you for watching.